All right, here's my uh, deep fryer full of wax. I just did one. I got the idea off uh, Set and Go Trapper on YouTube. So here's an old uh, dollar or uh, thrift store, whoopee bowl store deep fryer I got for 10 bucks. I got it at like 250 degrees. I had it at 300 and it was kind of starting to pop and boil. But I got my traps all dyed and everything. I just did one, it came out real nice. Left it in there for like four minutes. It's a little bit colder up here right now. So let's let them traps sit in there. And you'll see the bubbles and all the bullshit. When you first put it in, you can see it turn white and then it'll turn good and clear, but I've been timing it about four minutes and there'll be no more air bubbles coming off of it. But this deep fryer took seven pounds of wax. I probably could have used eight just for extra because I can tell when I get through these, it's probably going to be a little bit lower. But this is the hot setup because now you just have one pot strictly for wax. And then when you're done, boom, you put the lid back on it, you save it, it's got good wax in it. Now, uh, another thing I did when I bought it, I cleaned it out, and then I always use these set free hand wipes, uh, dead downwind or whatever, for hunting, bow hunting shit. But uh, this pot fits uh, MB550 perfectly, and actually, you could put a bigger trap in there, bigger foothold if you had one. But uh, for these 550s, it works out really good. And uh, let me turn this around and I'll show you. I already did what it looks like here. It uh, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. The deep fryer, hot setup. You can see it kind of boiling, just like when you put a piece of fish or something in there. So once all that boiling, them bubbles stop. That means your traps the same temperature as the wax. Easiest way I've found to do it, and uh, like I say, I didn't. It ain't my idea. I got it from Set It and Go Trapper. Trump 2020, no more bullshit.